In this video, I want to show you how to tune the banjo without the use of a tuner. If you don't have a tuner or for whatever reason you can't use one, there's a way to tune uh, called a string matching method. And it involves getting one string in tune with, say, a piano or a guitar player's uh, fourth string or a bass player, and then tuning all the remaining strings to that one in tune string. Um, now, the banjo, this is G tuning, open G tuning. And your string starting at the fifth is a, a G, your fourth is a D, then the third is a G, an octave lower than the fifth string. Your second string is a B, and your first string is another D. So there are two Ds. On the fourth and the first, they're an octave apart, and there are two Gs. On the third and the fifth, and they're also an octave apart. And there's one lone B note. Uh, so uh, G, B, and B are the notes that make up a G major triad, and that's why this is called G open G tuning. Now, I always get the fourth string in tune with something uh, piano, like the uh, a whole tone above middle C. The D above middle C will give you the uh, fourth string of your banjo, or the fourth string of a guitar. If you have a guitar player who's got a tuner, he's in tune. Get him to give you a fourth string and tune your fourth string to his. And then you'll be in relative uh, pitch with the guitar player anyway. So, uh, having the D string in tune, I'm going to throw everything else a little wacky out of tune. Now that banjo is not in tune, but I'm going to use a string matching method to get it back in. I've got the D. I'm going to assume I either had a pitch pipe or a friend with a guitar or a piano, and I got the D into tune. And what I do from there is I, I that's a D note. So the open note is D, and at the 12th fret is a D an octave higher. And I want that first string, unfretted, to be in the same tune with the 12th fret uh, of the fourth string. So, so that's my target pitch. And I always mute the surrounding strings as I showed in the other videos so I can hear a clear tone. And then I want the four, first string to sound like that. And it's obviously flat, so I come up. And if you ever have to come down to pitch, always go down below and then back up. has to do with uh, the string windings around the post it's a it's a mechanical thing but it's when you're coming down in pitch always go below and then back up to pitch there's the 12th fret of the fourth string and the fifth first string open still a little flat fourth string, they're pretty close. So I'm going to say the first string is now in tune. All right, now I'll go to the third string, and I need to get, I want the, I want to tune the third string to that open D string on the, four, on the uh, first string, that open D note. So I need a D on the G string, and uh, using the major scale, that would be coming up D, A, B, C, D. At the seventh fret, you'll find a D note on the third string. So this string here should sound like that first string open. It's obviously flat. I'm going to make sure that D on the first string is, is in tune again. Okay. The seventh fret of the third string is a little high. So I go down below and then back up as I'm, I'm going down in pitch. you'll hear a kind of a resonance. So 
my third string is now in tune with the open first. The D on the seventh fret of the third string is now in tune with the D on the open first string. Now the second string. I need a D on the second string, so I'm going to do the same thing. And at the third fret of the second string, you'll find a D note, but it's obviously too high. So go down below and back up. Still a little flat. Okay, so that D on the second string matches the D on the first. Now I'm going to check the third string, D at seven. That matches pretty good. Then the, 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 the fourth string, D at the fret 12. That matches pretty nicely too. All my D notes agree. So these four strings are pretty close to tune. Now I got this G string up here. What to do with that one? Well, I need a G note. And uh, I always get the G note on the first string. Start with that one, and that would be at the fifth fret. That's D at the second fret, E, D, E, F sharp, G. So I always mute for this one because the fifth string is a little hard to hear. So I mute the surrounding strings. And that's my fifth fret of the first string. That's what I want my open first. My fifth string's a little high. So I go down below and back up. Still a little flat. close. So technically my, my fifth string is in tune. But now I've checked it against the G on the first string. I'm going to do what I did with the D's. I'm going to find other G, G notes. And there's another G on the second string at fret 8. And that one's There's the second string at fret 8. And here's the open G. Sounds a little flat on the on the G. First string G. Second string G. Make sure my yeah, okay now the third string G. The third string G up at 12 is also. Those guys, the third string G at 12 and the open fifth are pretty nicely in tune. But I can get a G also on the D up at 17. And the D, uh, the G note on the 17th fret of the D string, 4, are pretty much in tune. I think my D might be a little sharp, but at any rate, the D's. agree and the G's they pretty much all agree too so technically this banjo although it might be a little better could be done a little better is pretty darn well in tune So that's a, a quick way of string matching your, your, your various D notes. All your D notes are in agreement and your G's are all in agreement. If they all agree, then that banjo's got to be in tune. So there you have it. Give it a try.